right, so it is Saturday. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. I am headed into the gym. As you can see, I got my backpack, which is a pretty good indication that I'm headed into the YMCA to get a run in on my treadmill or a treadmill using the lever system. I'm gonna continue to use it. Uh, today will probably be my last workout at 80% of my body weight because next week I'll start at 90%. You know, I've been trying to keep my mileage, you know, within reason. Uh, you know, this week I ran Monday and Tuesday, took Wednesday off, ran Thursday, took Friday off, and then I'll run today. So in total, I'll do about 20 miles this week on the lever system. So I think the first week I did nine miles and then 16 miles the second week. Of course, that nine miles was at 60% of my body weight, 16 miles at 70%, and then 20 miles at 80%. And I'll probably just keep it at 20 miles for now. Um, well, in fact, I don't, we'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna retract that because Monday officially starts the kickoff for the Chicago Marathon training block. Uh, but it's usually a pretty light week to start off. So Monday, um, given the first day, normally is doing some cross training. So I probably won't even run on Monday and that'll be okay. That means I would have a Sunday and Monday just to rest up and do my yoga, that kind of stuff. Uh, but then we'll kick off the week. And I, you know, I'll use the lever system all week, even though you know, I'll be officially starting the training block. But I'll be doing the things that they're asking me to do on the lever system with a slightly reduced body weight. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna play by ear. You know, I, I'm sure that I'll, I'll be um, doing a little bit of speed work, uh, but it should be fairly light. And uh, again, I'll be using the lever system to stay safe. So, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, I may defer and just decide not to do the speed work and just do a base run, something like that um, next week. But, you know, it'll be a game day decision. All right, guess, I'm, guess I got you all caught up. All right, I'm gonna head into the gym and get this one done. Well, so normally, you know, I try to eat pretty well. Uh, you know, I take my nutrition pretty seriously, but uh, there are days when I'm not as good at it as I should be, and yesterday was one of them. <laughs> so last night, um, I decided I was gonna have a couple of chips, right? I wanted to have a few potato chips that just sounded good. And uh, I put a few in a little container, I was gonna share them with Kim, and I just ended up eating them all myself. Oh my goodness. So I feel a little guilty about that because I don't normally eat potato chips and french fries, that kind of thing. But boy, it just sounded good last night. And I really thought I could be disciplined enough to have just one. But, you know, it's like that commercial says that they used to run for potato chips. You can't eat just one. And that was true for me last night. But the great thing about a new day rolling out of bed is that you got a fresh start. So today's a, a fresh start on uh, healthy nutrition. So I'm gonna focus a little bit more on that today. All right, I gotta go in and get this workout done.
what an absolutely gorgeous day. Oh my goodness. So that workout felt pretty darn good today. Pretty darn good today. Oh my goodness. So onward and upward. Got to head on towards the homestead. Got a few things to try to get done yet today. The only thing I'd say about this workout is that my legs were a little sore. So, you know, this week I was a little better at doing some strength training. So I worked out on Monday and then Wednesday, I got a really solid workout uh, doing lots of different types of squats, you know, split squats and all kinds of business. And uh, whew, I was feeling it in my legs the last couple of days that uh, delayed onset muscle soreness really kicked in for sure. And uh, so they've been a little bit sore. Uh, so, you know, just two days of strength training last week. And uh, that's okay. You know, I'm shooting for two to three days. So what I might do is, uh, of course, Monday, I'll do some strength training. But I might not do it again until maybe Thursday. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Onward and upward. All right, guys. Oh, I am rocking. You guys, might, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. I'm rocking the uh, Bayshore Marathon shirt. This is the very first marathon that I ran. And I qualified for Boston uh, at this marathon. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you guys ever get a chance to run it, I highly recommend it. It's a fairly quick course. It's uh, out and back. So it's literally, you run alongside Lake, uh, Lake Michigan and get, uh, you know, 13.2 miles and you do a quick UE and you run back in the other direction. So absolutely loved it though. Traverse City is a gorgeous place to be if you've never been. Uh, highly recommend it, highly recommend it. All right, guys. Uh, hey, thanks for making it to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong. Be kind to one another. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. A couple more days, and we're counting her down to the start of the Chicago Marathon, the official kickoff of the training block for the Chicago Marathon 2024. Hope you guys can join me for all of that. All right, we'll see you later.